Strap on your tool belts and grab a cup of coffee. It's time for My Fix It Up Life with Mark and Teresa. It's My Fix It Up Lifetime, Mark. Are you ready? And we are talking party station. I'm always ready to rock it. You ready for a party? Smashing and crashing. Let's bring it. Well, I'm kind of really excited because the countdown to the annual fun day festival of our nation's birthday party is coming up. And you know what? I, I don't know what. And what better reason than the 4th of July to create your ultimate party station? I guess there's a reason all year long. So if you're watching this show or listening to it in December, why not make a party station then? But... You know what? I've got some stats for you that might blow your mind. It might actually pop right out of your skull and like go through the roof. You know, as awesome of an image as that is, I think we should move into statistics. Well, it's like that song Happy. Do you ever feel like a room without a roof? You were just talking about an exploding skull. It's the now same you're kind into of thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, to say that you're hard to follow sometimes might not be hyperbole. This 160, be 160 million Americans are going to be firing up 40 million grills on the 4th of July. Not enough, America. Okay, well, we're all working hard. I'll, I'll fire up a grill. We'll, we'll do like double grills. We'll like... We'll all like we'll invite people over and then we'll have a grilling station for everyone so we can add to those numbers. That would be fun, actually. A party with two grills or two locations so you could fire up your party time. I like my party time. That's pretty good. I like that idea. Two grill masters, well, long spatulas. You have to have a duel in the middle of the yard, of course. But you know what's really cool, though, is that when you have your backyard party, the stats say from the Census Bureau that the average price of a 4th of July picnic is about $59. So it's not a lot of money that you're spending to have a whole heck of a good time. And I think that, you know, today's guests... I spent $59 on beer. More than that. I'm sorry. Moving on. Not everyone drinks that much beer, honey. <laughs> if three people come over and have beers... You know what I mean? I'm just How saying. How many beers are you drinking? 59 bucks? Yeah. I mean, a pack of chicken costs $8. What are, you, what are you feeding them? Like hard candy? Here you go. Here's your hard candy. <laughs> Happy birthday, America! Well, maybe everyone's going out into their, like, yard and, like, foraging in picking out, like, fruits and vegetables, and you're all natural, and you don't need beer. Okay, I'm joking. So anyway, cooking out and having a party in your backyard are awesome things. I mean, you can go to Tailgater Magazine and get ideas for having the ultimate backyard But you bash. don't need that. We're talking to Tom Burry today. We are from, from Restaurant Impossible on Food Network. And he has been making the ultimate party station with Ryobi and our friends over at Woodworkers Journal. And we're also going to be delighted with um, my favorite forge girl blacksmith forger carly eisenberg yes. who's on ellen's show the hgtv design challenge with jeff devlin teammate so i am so excited to get her ideas for what her ultimate party station would be too so you know what i think we should get hop aboard we're doing it next i might fix it up left Are you ready? I'm ready. I, I'm, I'm here. Do you have your coffee? I'm here. I'm ready. I feel surprised and like caught up on. I have coffee. Me too. Which is my normal red coffee. And then my mermaid friend, she, she brought me some backup coffee too. So just in case, because we're talking about party stations. Yeah. I like to have a coffee at a party. And you know, when we have a party, we usually have guests. I understand all of this. Gonna have a nervous break. <laughs> I, I, swear, I swear to God. I love you know, uh, <laughs> huh, Who is it? Oh my gosh, I think there's someone at the door. What a surprise. We have a guest we plan to have. Oh my gosh, I think it's Carly. You might know Carly 
from an awesome show with Ellen, but you know, we know her because we follow her all online. How are you? I am fantastic and very sleepy because I don't have two coffees. <gasps> oh, I would totally send you one, but I think it's far away from Philadelphia. A little bit. Yeah, it might be cold. It, it would be an iced coffee by the time it got to you. But in your forge, you'd be able to warm it up. There you go. How hot does it get in there when you're when you're just like you got you got some iron in there and you're just whacking the crap out of it? What are we talking about for temps? Uh, and notice how I summarized blacksmithing really well. It you're welcome. Very good. Um, it was probably about a hundred and thirty yesterday. Wow. It, it How is, are you alive? I don't even understand it. Like, that's well, so hard. my hair keeps getting shorter because it's actually melting. Like, <laughs> it keeps breaking up. So you have, like, a Dorothy Wizard of Oz moment frequently. I'm melting. <laughs> Basically, soon my hair is going to be as short as Mark's. Now you're talking. You get serious about your hair, you get in my category. No, that's not good. No. No, well, I guess you'd look cute no matter what hair you have, I think. Even though you look like you have, like, green hair. What's going it's, on there? It's, like, pink, fade oh. blue, fade green. I figured I'd go peacock style for the summer. That's pretty neat. That's, I love that. That's pretty neat. <laughs> you I'm are, surprised. like, the super funnest person ever. So we're talking about party stations. Uh, we were inspired because it's party season. And I'm curious what you would make, build, create, fantasize about for your ultimate party station. So when you said we are going to talk about party stations, I got so excited because I don't know if you know this, I'm a big rock climber. I got- Bad. I can't say the rest of it. Awesome. What? Do you do anything that's Let's not just, awesome? <laughs> just back up for a second. We'll get to the party station. No, 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 no. We'll no, get no. to it in a we're minute. Now get, it's time to get to I'm it. I'm thinking that we're going to have to rock climb, too, or her party station. Rock climbing. So, like, ropes and belays and, and no free ropes. climbing or yeah, no Yosemite. Ropes. What do you do? Um, my favorite one is Waco Tanks in Texas. I got to spend a week there. But I don't climb with ropes. I boulder. So I usually don't go over 20 feet, but there aren't any ropes. Wow. I used to be competitive, but. Yeah, you're probably not competitive anymore, I can tell. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. That is awesome. So bouldering, and I'll get this probably as right as I described blacksmithing earlier, is climbing up a very challenging, but not 5,000 foot tall boulder. Exactly. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So instead of climbing up straight, you're climbing up something that kind of goes like that, and you're hanging on. And... So you're like okay, so party fingertips stations. like this, right? Mark, 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 we got to get back to it. We don't have a lot of time it to doesn't, talk. It do- yes, we do. Yes. We've got all the time. No, we, we need. don't. I want to know what is what what. How does this all go back into a party station? Do you have to hang off of it? <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking was. You could have kind of like a bar tabletop on top that you know has coolers and all that kind of stuff. But you can actually climb underneath and boulder upside down along the bottom of the table and then, like, climb up and around it. So, so I have to, like, get a cat suit on to, to go to your party? You could. I want to because, go. because the obvious bouldering uniform, <laughs> Carly Eisenberg, as you well know, is, in fact, a cat suit. But, like, in order to get a beer... The rule is you'd have to completely boulder underneath the table and ascend over the top to get the beer. Can you suspend yourself horizontally upside down if you have the right hand and toe holds? Yeah. Of course, of course you can. Okay, I got to check off a few items on your on your so, uh, bio here. So the whole like um, keg stand thing <sighs> could, could be a whole new kind of thing with this bouldering party. I'm just thinking there could be taps and stuff inside of it and. Oh, when you go for one hold, there's like a trigger inside that shoots the beer down into your mouth. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> We're changing the lives of drinking people everywhere right now. So, Carly, you you will you will while you're while you're drinking. That's right. That's right. You, you will enjoy this tangent. We won't spend much time on it. But no, because we have a couple minutes. There's left. an event called the Beer Mile where competitive milers, like fast dudes, go, and I think every quarter mile, you have to chug a bottle of beer. 
They are dying by the end of it. Google it on your own time, though. We got to get back to quarter, what you're doing. Quarter of a mile? That's insane. I, I like I like Carly's idea better. Okay, so what what are you working on right now? I know that you were raising money for a new forge and and everything. So, what's the new place going to be about? Well, um, for those who don't know, I am moving to the Rhode Island Boston area in about two or three months, which is very exciting. Um, so basically, my brother gave me a challenge four days ago that I have to stick to now because, well, he's my brother and I have to listen to him. But he told me I'm not allowed to make any more little tiny, you know, bottle openers. I'm not allowed to make any more hook racks. Like, I've got to go all in and just make furniture from now on, which is terrifying because my little stuff is my money maker. But I am up for the challenge. So when I move to Rhode Island, I am moving into, hopefully moving into a shop with a very, very experienced, beautiful uh, woodworker who does all these crazy inlays, very traditional. So we'll have this shop where you've got like crazy woodworking in one section and then crazy blacksmithing in the other. And we have the section of the shop that'll be open for collaboration. I love that so much. Okay, so where can people, what's, what's your website? CarlyEisenberg.com, C-A-R-L-E-Y-E-I-S-E-N-B-E-R-G.com. And can people go there? Well, like, is, is it one of those things where we could go there and, like, watch you work? That's the plan. He actually told me, he is, he's in the shop already, and he told me that there is a little 200-square-foot space that's fireproof because it used to be an old vault. So that's actually where my legitimate forge is going to be. So I'm going to be forging in a vault. She's forging in a vault. She does that bouldering stuff. She's got, like, the bad asses kind of, like, tattoos on her. She makes all kinds of cool stuff. She was an Ellen's HGTV show. I don't know. I think I have a crush. Unfortunately, Carly Eisenberg, based on the Jealousy Handbook, uh, page 17, we are no longer allowed to know about what you're doing. Please unfollow her on Twitter. No, 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 no. Everyone should follow her because she's always into something so super cool and neat. And you're inspired, aren't you? Yes. At Carly underscore IMF. Do I have that right? But we're not done yet, are we? I want to make sure I get it in there. Uh, you don't have to do it at the end. Oh, we it, can do it all, like, the whole time. It, yeah. Well, there's no rule book. There's no jealousy rule book either. I made that up. I've got something that Mark will like, though. I actually right. finished up a couple of pieces for Jeff, and he'll be here in five days to pick them up. Jeff Devlin. Jeff Devlin. I love that boy. He's a You're Philly boy. Restaurant. Well, he's mainly doing the restaurant. He just calls me to do all the metal stuff. That's Ooh. awesome. We're That's gonna make, I want to see pictures of that. Will you post some stuff up on Twitter and Facebook and everything? Yeah. Well, he's doing the top. Right now, it's just this crazy-looking metal base for a table. Rock on. That sounds fun. Is it a Philly restaurant? I He keeps saying Jersey. I don't know if it's Jersey Shore, Jersey it's, City, New Jersey. close. He's in Jersey-ish. It's like Massachusetts and Rhode Island and Connecticut are all. Exactly. It's all the same thing. Same kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. That is awesome. Are you moving to Wawick? Oh, God. That's actually where my boyfriend's parents live, so we'll probably be there every weekend. How could I have guessed that? My, uh, my shop's going to be in Tiverton. It sounds fancy, right? It does. I don't know where that is, though. It's, uh, like, if you know where Warwick is, you go up and over the water, and that's on the other side. It's a historic place. The great thing is my shop is going to be behind a really nice gallery that I can just clean them my stuff at the end of every day. You should just push it through the back door. Exactly. Yeah. Because my stuff just is not light. Let me know when the cash no, gets here. her stuff is really light. Yeah. Before it's like feathers. What is the heaviest item you um, have created? You've blacksmithed, give or take. Probably the table base I just did for Jeff. Um, no kidding. It's an eight-person table. Uh-huh. And I forged it out of inch and three-quarters solid. <laughs> what? That's awesome. We built something out of pallets. I bet it's heavier. A yeah. little bit. It's the pallets are heavier. They weigh like a metric ton each. I really want to say the base is around <laughs> 150 or 300 pounds. That's pretty cool. So it's going to be really fun to watch Jeff try to get it onto the truck himself. I'm not going to help him. Very good. Just take a really you good know, video of that. You know what you should do? And is make say, sure to capture all of the beautiful language he will use. <laughs> 
you, you should say, you know what, I'm not feeling well right now. I can't lift that. And then boulder up the side of your house. There you go. <laughs> I've got a brick house. I can do it. Oh, my gosh. I think we did. Oh, oh my gosh. Why? Why, Carly Eisenberg? It seems there's a stopwatch ticking in the background. I'm uh, going to break. I lost uh, 60 minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> it has been so fun talking with you. Yes. So go follow Carly on Twitter because we do. And we will be hopefully sharing, resharing photos of all that awesome work that you're doing at your new forge with Mr. Jeff Devlin and all the other adventures. I want to see a picture of you bouldering as well. So we got to go. Uh, Rock on. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Sanding walls before you paint? Do it the hide way, not the hard way, with Hyde's Dust Free Sander. Attach to your wet dry vac and go. No drywall dust on your furniture, no tough cleanup when you're done. Buy online at Amazon.com. It's my fix it up life, Mark. And we're talking party barging. Yes, I'm surprised that you're actually still wearing, like, you know, long pants. Like you don't have your board shorts on because we're talking party station. Flip flop nation. And that's your thing. Like whenever we go somewhere, like for our trip, you're like, what else do you need besides board shorts? Well, if you go to the beach, if you're going mountain climbing, you bring some other things. Yeah. Yeah. But for a beach trip, what do you need? I'll tell you what you need. Maybe some sunscreen, your wallet, your keys, board shorts, the shirt you go into the bar with, and really, I don't know, maybe some shampoo for an outside shower. Oh my goodness, Mark! Someone's at the door! Please, God. <laughs> I love that! Okay, I, I am a total geek. But we have an ultimate party station expert here with us. Tom Murray, how are you? Good. Hey, guys. How are you? Good to see you. We are doing... Um, and I am sad you're not wearing your shorts, because you should be. Summer's here. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You sound like a slogan here. Yeah, summer's here. Let's do it. Dot com. Brought to you by Tom Burry. This, this, that's all I got. Let's do this. This winter has been painful. I'm ready for summer, so it's it's on. And this little project was fun because it was a good kickoff for the summer. Okay, so Tom Burry from Restaurant Impossible. You see him. I think it's on Wednesday night still. Every Wednesday night. Yeah, Wednesday nights, ten o'clock. And you guys have been doing Restaurant Puzzle for like three, four years now. It's been a while. It's yes. been like, believe it or not, it's been almost five. Whoa! It's been almost five years. It's been like 130-something episodes at this point. We're on, we just finished season 11. So <laughs> So how many people has Robert Irvine actually yelled at in a restaurant how many people? That would be hard to tally. I think that could be some kind of like Restaurant Impossible contest. Like the fan that can na could number, like it's like candy in a jar kind of thing. Okay, I'm insane. Let's just, we could do a multiple. It's like 138 restaurants. Um, <laughs> average average about 7.5 people a restaurant. Blah, blah, blah. Let's figure it out. <laughs> like, there's got to be some kind of math equation. It's, it's got to be getting close to 1,000. Like that's insane. Oh, yeah. Okay, Definitely. so you you did this project with some guys that we out with Workers Journal and Ryobi to do the ultimate party station. Now, for anybody listening and watching right now, if you haven't seen this video, you want to. Hilarious. A, it's hilarious. B, it's kind of inspiring because you want to go out and build a party station and you want to think about what you want. But I want to know why you didn't wear the um, the horn hat in the video, Tom. Sorry, what was that? You, you oh, just... the, uh, the the Viking hat. The Viking hat. There's a gentleman that donned a Viking hat in the video. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's that's the neighbor. That's Chuck or Charlie. Okay. Um, he was he was he was the most interesting to work with. Let's put it that way. He was uh, you know I like working with people that maybe don't have a lot of skill. He was very challenging in a lot of ways. Now, he was a very funny guy and really fun to work with. Once you got him motivated, he was good to go. Did, I just want to the, point out the, the lumber sexual with the kitten t-shirt as well. I find him to be an interesting character that you included in this video project. Yeah, I, I nicknamed him um, Caveman Kitten uh, because he sort of looked like a caveman and he had a kitten shirt on with an astronaut helmet, which... Um, 
I had a really hard time when I first met him. I was just like, I, I could, my eyes, I couldn't stop looking. I'm like, you are so interesting in so many ways. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm staring. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have to like section them up? Like, all right, for this part of the conversation, we'll do eye contact. <laughs> However, I can't sustain it for much longer because of the cat. Now I gotta examine the cat and come back up to your eyes. I'll, I'll give you guys a little. When you when you see the video, when we shot that first take, when I was talking to the guys trying to give them a motivational speech, um, they had the, the director wanted that guy to come to the front, caveman kitten guy, and he literally. I didn't know this, so I'm starting into my speech trying to get the guys going, and this guy barrels through into the front and my eyes just went just looked right out and I froze. I didn't all I could think was kittens. Kittens. That's all I could think about. Everything I was talking about, all I could think was kittens. kittens. And I was like, all right, cut. You can't do this to me. You can't throw that guy in front of me like that. Okay, so yeah, if we haven't convinced everyone to watch that video, I think we have. Like, you have to go watch it. But so for the ultimate party station, now, I know that you built that with Ryobi, and I know that you posted on Instagram that you're inspired beyond what you've already built to build more ultimate, like a good architect that you are. You're always wanting to do the next project or make it better. So, yeah. like, what is in Tom Burry's, like, personal party station? You know, I, the things that I've been toying with are literally, I love an all-in-one. So, the second we built the party station, literally when we were like standing there, I'm like, step one is like, I need a stool. It's like, Man, I wish this thing had stools built into it so we could take them off, you know? And then there was all these little things like we wanted a bottle opener and then I wanted the table to be bigger. And we thought about, well, what if we put a hitch on it and we could actually attach it to a car and we put real wheels on it, then you could take it anywhere or bigger wheels so you can take it on the beach. I was like, oh, what if we wanted to take it on the beach? So. It was like constantly rolling of what I wanted in this thing. But as we were building all those things into it, like we built a cooler into it and it was flip up. I constantly, constantly am trying to figure out what else we can put inside this. So when we take it all apart, it's like, it is the ultimate party. So you show up, this thing unfolds, it's a party in one. So I've been like, I've been sketching, I've been working on things. And I think I'm hoping to build another one that's going to be like the bigger, badder version. Okay, so... I have to go and follow Tom on Twitter and Instagram. Your your Twitter is at TomBurry1. Yes, and my Instagram is the same, TomBurry1. Yeah, so go and check it out because I'm sure that you've posted some more interesting ideas. And you and guys, don't don't be shy. Go tell Tom what should be in a party station too. Yeah, where did catch her? Yeah. Please, I've been I've been asking everybody like send me. Send me sketches. We've got a couple of people that built them already, built some amazing versions that I saw online, like literally built their own. And I love that because you can go, I mean, you can go on Ryobi Nation, download the plans and use them as a guideline, like a starting point. And then from there, just do whatever you want to do. I mean, it's it's only the beginning. It's It's your party station. So whatever you need, do it. Nice. And is it like, because you said all these different things in and out of the real party station and the Tom Burry party station and Woodworkers Journal is involved and they make some pretty fancy and involved things in their magazine sometimes. Is it like complicated in million pieces or is it more like, like the video is like regular guy stuff? Right. It's, it actually is fairly simple. The guys from Woodworkers Journal are really great at this. I mean, they do it all the time. They obviously, you know, their magazine's amazing and they know how to really put something together that the everyday person can sit down. And trust me, when I had to do it, I was challenged with these guys and they were the everyday. I mean, they didn't know how to use from step one power tool, how to do anything. So I'm showing them from sanding to how to screw something together to attachments to everything. But they were able to grasp the concept of how it was going to work because it was simple, it was laid out really well. So they did a great job, and it, and it, and it came out great. Um, and, you know, they had the same problem, too, because when I met those guys, they came out to the shoot, and we looked at the station, and they were like, oh, what if we did this? What if we, we played the what-if game for about 30 minutes, me and the guys. We just were like, oh, we were literally walking around it. But that's what's cool about it. There's always a new version and always a better version. So I'm looking for those better versions. I want people to just... I want people to outdo it. Like, let's see what you can do. 
Now, is there any, like, technology? Are there, like, battery charging things and stuff inside your party station? Is it solar, something or other? Like, is it is it wind generated? Is like, it, is it a rocket? Can I go to outer space in this thing? Like, see, see, you guys are the perfect example. That's what I like. You guys team up, and you guys just threw out, like, 15 amazing ideas there already. I love the solar power idea. I haven't heard that yet. So I'm waiting to see that. That's That makes sense because that solves a lot of the power problems. People have been talking about TVs and fans and stuff. So the solar power would be a great solution and batteries or rechargeable batteries. So the, our station was very simple. It was like, it was, the, it was the bare bones, easy version. You know, a cooler inside, the top slides open, there's a front that flips up and wheels and a handle. And it was just an easy, easier version. But I have seen some ones online that there was one guy that posted with a TV on already. And my questions immediately were like, how's that TV working? Where are the batteries going? So he's already sending me sketches of how he did it. So it's I, like, I, like to put, I like to put the 110 four-way junction inside the ice chest. That way it's hidden out of the way. <laughs> just, I'm just throwing it out there. From me to you, Tom Burry. You keep right it cool. Nice. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's so smart. Electric's okay. not going to overheat. What could go wrong? But Okay, so has anyone been able to put some kind of grilling action in there like is there a place that you could set some kind of portable grill or like your hibachi style i don't know or put fire like have a some kind of metal vessel that you could fire things inside of and you know what's funny on my instagram i saw a ton of sketches where people wanted to do like a stainless steel you know there's some people that are more chefs and they're like immediately thinking well i want to have I want to have a, a grill top on one side and uh, one of those rolling hot dog things on the other and all the, and all this like amazing stuff. And I'm like, all right, all right, that's one way to go with it, you know? And then I saw guys that just made it like a DJ booth, like literally speakers all over it, like a pop-up <laughs> DJ thing. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's a party station. I mean, you show up, you are the party. You're like fat other boy slim. That were more like a bar. There's crazy stuff. People are doing, people are really creative. Oh, uh, your party station is so personal to who you are, honey. I love that. <gasps> I do. That means we're almost out of time. Tom, we're almost out of time. We got to go. You we have do. To, you do have to follow at Tom Burry yes. on Twitter and Instagram. You can even go to his website, tom-burry.com. And keep watching him on Restaurant Impossible. Five years and kicking strong. Kicking strong. And then so you guys know, season 12 on the way. We yeah, just buddy. Oh, congratulations. All right. That is so awesome. Really good. Really, really new news. So we j literally just heard it. So yeah. it's like we're going to be start filming soon. We're excited. That awesome. is awesome and amazing. And... I can't wait to be invited to your shore house to celebrate your wondrous you achievement. You are more than welcome. <laughs> more than welcome. Oh, you probably shouldn't say that. You don't know <clears throat> how we party. That's the only room that's finished in it, though. Behind it is, like, open framing and, <laughs> like, <laughs> lifts of drywall. Sure, we'll be there. I'll bring our tools, sure. Yeah, ding dong dong. Yeah, that's oh, did you... you get to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the video, for you guys, the rest of the house. Yeah. Can you just make the rest of the house look like this? Thanks, guys. I'll be at the beach. All right. We do have to go, but I'm so glad to see you and talk to you. And guys, Party Station, send in your all of your inspirations because it looks like he's going to probably be including them. We're out. We're out. Take your inspiration into real life with Sherline Paint Products. From easy pour and store paint can lids to tools that help give you a perfect line. For more information, check out Sherline.com. That was whacking and cracking great ideas. Thanks, Tom Burry. Thanks, Carly Eisenberg. And keep the conversation going with us. Yeah, send us your ideas for your ultimate party station. Send us a tweet, Facebook, email us at info at myfixituplife.com because maybe we will be building our own party station. Not a bad idea. And tell your friends about My Fix It Up Life. Review us on iTunes. Download the podcast. Watch us on YouTube. <laughs> Check out some videos. I'm going to talk more like an announcer for the rest of the day. We're doing it again on my fix it up live thanks guys you might be just a 
pretty face looking back at me It might be an idle conversation piece It might be another wasted